good morning and welcome to Incheon. So we are heading towards a place called Gehangno and I'm actually going to be learning about it simultaneously. So I don't really know that much about it other than this is a neighborhood that was popping in the 70s or 60s. So all the buildings are still like that style and somebody bought it and is gonna try and preserve it. But yeah, I think we're going to be shown around this neighborhood by the person who has made it their mission to kind of reinvigorate and save this neighborhood. So it will be very cool. Um, my friend Sung Young is coming. This is thanks to the Incheon Tourism Organization. I'm excited, but I need to figure out where I am. Incheon has so much street art. Okay, uh, let's go. <laughs> in Busan and it was a very old hospital. It was like the first hospital in Busan and they renovated it to make it a cafe. So that CEO also took this place and did the same thing. So this is also an old hospital building plus the person who like owned the hospital lived here. And so they've changed the hospital and his house into being like an art space, a bakery. It's really cool. It's kind of like a maze. There's a bunch of like hidden galleries in the basement. Um, it's very cool. I'm, I'm digging this area. I know that I haven't been talking that much and we've only been here for like an hour, but this is very cool. Accessible by the Seoul subway. And um, yeah, I hope that they let us eat something here because the desserts look really good. Okay, bye. <laughs> This area is famous because, well, it's famous for many reasons, but most recently, Dokebi or the K-drama Goblin was filmed here. Um, I have not seen it, as you guys know, by my crash landing on you um, hiatus ending thing. <laughs> so um, let me know if you see anything. I'll film everything and 
Maybe we'll see Gong Yu. <laughs> That was so cool. So the guy who gave us our tour, basically this is his passion. It's like reviving and reinvigorating these old neighborhoods with a lot of history. So he just was full of all these really interesting facts such as this area doesn't have crosswalks because they didn't need crosswalks because when this was built, they didn't have cars. Like it was just very interesting. And so there's a ton of restaurants that have been here since the 50s. And then there's also a ton of buildings that are now empty that he's just gutting and then putting in really cool new places. 
and there are even people who are moving from Seoul out here to do their business. So like right down this street, there was a vintage store that used to be in Jongno. Um, around the corner, there is a cafe that used to be in Hongdae. Um, and people are coming over here because it's just this kind of new upcoming area. Um, and I don't know, he was like so proud of Incheon that it made me really proud of Incheon. <laughs> anyway, it was really cool. It's right next to the Dong Incheon subway station. So you can get here really easily from Seoul. It's on like the line one, basically. Yeah, this was really fun. There's one more spot. I'm not sure if it's gonna be open, but if it is, we're gonna stop in. There is a like Kwaja sweet store, cookie store um, that's been open like forever. And um, I hope they're open because I would love to get some cookies. <laughs> um, and then they and they make them in house apparently. So let's leave beautiful Gehangno. I'll definitely be back. I think that Kurt would love this place. Um, so yeah, let's hopefully get cookies and then let's head back to Seoul. <laughs> So the woman literally came up to my armpit. She's the tiniest lady I've ever seen. And she asked me what I wanted and I straight up don't know how to order at those places. Like I've never been to a uh, like Kwaja place like that. Um, and so I just asked her, I was like, how do I order? And she was like, do you want me to give you a mixed bag? <laughs> and I was like, yes. And she made me a cute little mixed bag. Um, and I'm gonna be eating cookies for forever but um yeah that was just the cutest little experience they've been around for forever so now i'm going to head to the subway station and that was a lovely day i was only here for a couple of hours i could do so much more um but just for today that was gehangno and i'm definitely coming back like i said i think kurt would love some of these like little eateries and bars um it just seems really cool and apparently at night it's popping so yeah, I'm going to catch my train. See you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Bye.